Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be discussing the Give Energy All-in-One Battery and Inverter and also the Give Energy EV Charger. The All-in-One was announced a couple of months ago by Give Energy but is now available for general sale and installation. And I must say at first glance it looks like a cracking piece of kit. Stay tuned for more. So for those that haven't seen the kit, this is a battery pack and inverter all-in-one package designed to be one piece of kit that you can install to meet all of your home usage needs. The Give Energy website, which I'll link in the description, describes this as sleek, powerful and affordable and it's hard to disagree. It looks great, it's got 13.5 kilowatt hours of usable storage, so plenty of capacity and it comes in at a great price point. Now personally I think I preferred the look of the slightly squarer, older Give Energy batteries, but this still looks great anyway. It's very neat and as a complete install I think it would probably look better than what mine does with the wiring on shore and the separate battery pack and inverter. And with 13.5 kilowatt hours of usable storage this is exactly the same as the popular Tesla Powerwall. The Give Energy all-in-one units can be installed in parallel up to 6 so that's giving a total storage capacity of up to 80 kilowatt hours which is huge. It's also compatible with some of the smart tariffs that the likes of Octopus Energy offer. So that essentially means you can fill the batteries and buy the energy when rates are cheap and then export it to the house to manage your home usage when prices are more expensive. Incidentally, if you've watched some of my other videos where I rave about Octopus Energy, they have some really great tariffs that cater for all uses and all have a real renewable focus with cheaper energy rates overnight when there's plenty of energy being produced and then more expensive rates during the day during peak hours. There is currently a link on screen and also in the description of this video that you can use if you'd like to sign up to Octopus. If you use this link, you will get £50 credit added to your account when you sign up and I get £50 as well, which helps me to continue to improve the quality of these videos. Take a look at this video where I take a deep dive into some of Octopus's best tariffs. So if we look at the Give Energy All-in-One data sheet, this is an AC coupled system and has a nominal AC power output of six kilowatts and a max power output of 7.2 kilowatts. I seem to remember I read somewhere that this is only for a short period that it can output 7.2 kilowatts, maybe 10 to 30 seconds, but this doesn't seem to appear on the data sheet anymore, so may have changed upon release. This is great and would cater for a pretty big solar array and draw from the house. As I mentioned earlier, the all-in-one has 13.5 kilowatt hours of storage and all of that can be used, so full 100% depth of discharge. The battery element itself has four removable battery packs which will make installation much easier as well rather than having to lug it round as one whole unit. It has an ingress protection rating of IP65 so it can probably be installed outside if required but I would recommend having some sort of cover to protect it from the more severe weather. It has an operating temperature of minus 10 to 50 degrees celsius which I think is actually slightly better than the 9.5 kilowatt hour battery that I have as the charging temperature on the data sheet states a lower charging limit for that of 0 degrees C. Ideally though this should be located somewhere inside. For me my garage is the ideal location but I've also seen others install it in lofts and kitchens and that kind of thing. You'll probably find that the battery performs better in warmer locations as well. It's obviously quite a big unit at 110 centimeters high, uh, 60 centimeters wide and 28 centimeters deep. Obviously there's a lot of kit to fit in that and the overall weight is 173 kilos which I assume is the total weight with all the battery modules installed. So overall so far so good. On to the price and if we look at ITS Technologies which is usually a good resource for sorting batteries and solar panels etc. I'll link this site in the description below as well but we can see that it's listed as having a retail price of £5,995 excluding VAT which I think is a cracking price. If we include VAT, that equates to 7,194. So these prices are correct as of June 2023, but could be liable to change at any point in time. At the moment in the UK, if you have a battery pack installed with solar panels, you will get the battery pack VAT free. However, if you're just buying the battery on its own, for some reason that isn't classed as a renewable installation, so you'll pay full VAT on that which I find a little bit daft, but those are the rules. It can also be paired with the gateway device to enable a house to run off-grid essentially during power cuts. So some really great pieces of kit coming to the market from Give Energy. When I was doing the research for this video, the ITS site stated that they had low stock. So these units are obviously in very high demand at the moment. And like I've described, it's easy to see why. If this was available six months ago or so when I had my 9.5 kilowatt hour battery and five kilowatt inverter installed, 
I think I probably would have gone for the all-in-one instead. The price point probably wouldn't have been too much higher than what I paid for my battery. And it's great to see that Give Energy appear to have gotten over their supply chain issues now, as many companies suffered during COVID. Overall, it really does look like a great buy, and it's great to see Give Energy coming out with competitive and innovative products. In other news, when we were at Fully Charged Live North show, you can see my coverage of the show in the top right corner now, if you click on that video. And at the show, I had a chat with a couple of guys from the Give Energy stand and asked about their upcoming EV charger. All very helpful guys, and it was great to chat to them about some of their products. I'm currently looking to get an EV charger installed, so it kind of makes sense that I would go for the Give Energy charger um, just to match the rest of my kit, as I figure it would probably play nicely with the rest of the Give Energy equipment as well. They stated at the time of the show a couple of weeks ago that it would be on sale and available for installation in around about four weeks. So a couple of weeks from now, we should start to see that come to the market. And again, the price point that the team said to me uh, seemed really competitive as well. I'm pretty sure they said around about £600, which seems like a great price. The charger itself had a similar look to the all-in-one device and the new Gen 3 inverters. And they also said that a number of staff have been testing these chargers for a long time now and they were pretty confident with how it was working, which is reassuring to know. For me personally, I don't think there's much in most of the car chargers now that are on the market. I think most are capable of a 7 kilowatt charge. They're capable of charging off solar in most cases. So I think it would be good to see a bit more innovation in this space and somebody doing something different. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it's starting to feel like a pretty saturated market right now. If you've had an EV charger installed recently, please let me know in the comments which one you went for and why. For me, I really think this is where the likes of Give Energy and My Energy can really capitalise because they can now offer a full home solution by offering these all-in-one packs and EV chargers, rather than what it seems a lot of businesses are doing by just relying on the charger alone as a business model. I really love the sleek look of the Anderson chargers, but again, I think as long as they can charge at 7 kilowatts and manage my excess solar to divert that to the car, then I think that meets all of my needs. I'm excited to see the price point of the Give Energy Charger when that comes out. Hopefully we won't have to wait too much longer before it's back in stock. And I'll keep you all updated in another video which one I went for and why. Be sure to let me know your opinion of the Give Energy all-in-one system and EV Charger in the comments below. And also whether you're considering purchasing one as well. Thank you to everyone that has liked, subscribed and commented on my videos so far. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I've got some pretty exciting content coming up in the next few weeks, including buying my first electric vehicle at long last. I'm also going to look at an eco showroom of the future, selling EV cars, as well as much more of the solar stats and payback, and providing real world data on my journey to everything renewable and hopefully electric. What's not to like? Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.